Hi subscribers, what's up? It's me, Vivs from Slider here. In this video, I'm gonna further continue our discussion of the example of XML DOM parsing from an RSS feed gathered from TechCrunch, which we started in the previous video. If you guys remember, this was the page we were trying to read here with this title, this image, and this description. That's all we care about. So if you go to the structure, it is pretty complicated, and I showed you guys that there's several tags what item like item starting item ending the second item starts the second item ends and within that what we have is our data inside this title the link comments and whatever other tags are there so in this video let's build on this so going back to Eclipse now what I want to do is read all the item tags if you go to this process XML method we made in the last video I'm gonna say root element I want to find the list of all the item tags within that XML file so I'm gonna say root element dot get elements by tag name here I can pass item inside now this is gonna give me a list it's not an array list it's a different type of list called a node list so I'm gonna say node list and I'm gonna say items list over here and that is gonna be now we need to import this of course go here press control 1 or dot w3c dot dom dot node list now that's what we need to import now at this point we are ready to process the item list that we have so let's make a for loop by saying for int i equals to zero and i should be less than the number of items in the node list which is item list dot get length and i plus plus so it's just like an array list that we are processing just it's called node list so now we need to get the current item which is let's say node current item so i'm going to say node current item over here make it null initially and of course we need to import this order w3c dot dom so here I'm gonna say current item equals to items list dot item at the position given by I over here it's just like saying item dot I and you get that current item like you did in an array in Java all the time so this current item is nothing but one single item tag that we are talking about so at this point we can go and print the details for that if you guys want to see that I'm gonna say L dot M here and I'm gonna simply say current item dot get node name over here so let's take a look at what happens if we run this again there's no need to see the UI because right now I have no UI inside my app so clear the log cat so at this point if you notice there is our RSS which is the root tag name and then there is one two three four five and roughly some 20 items contained over here which is exactly what we printed so in other words the node list was nothing but an array list of items and then each item was being extracted by saying item dot get node name when we try to get the item now this is not where we want to stop we want to go further inside item and we want to talk about the other tags like title link comments pub date and the other stuff that we have now of course out of these what matters to us is the title the pub date the description and maybe the image URL let's take a look at how we can work with that so go further down here to Eclipse and now let's start working with the current item so the first thing that we need to do is get all the tags that are contained within our current item so in other words we're gonna have to have worked with another for loop before that I'm gonna say current item dot get child notes get a list of all the children of an item tag so this is gonna be called node list item children for in this case I'm gonna say item children here make it null initially I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna initialize that by saying item children equals to that so there you go now we can use our for loop to loop over this item children array I'm gonna say for and j is zero j less than item children dot length and j plus plus same thing applies over here now of course item children dot get length is what we'll have to call here no other than node current item I'll make node current child here equals to null and of course current child will be equal to say current child equals to item children dot item at position j over here so if you guys find this pretty confusing remember first I had a complete list of items I got one item then I had complete list of all the children within that item then I got one child so that is the way I'm working here so again we can print the details for the current child by saying l dot m here and we can say something like current child 
dot get no name here so let's take a look at how this runs and find out what happens with this so at this point if you notice the output there's RSS then there's title then there are some text there's link and text comments text pub date text and so on now this is for one item and if you go further down you will notice that the things start repeating again title link comments and that is because like I said if you go here back this inside for loop is printing all the things inside one item while this outside for loop deals with all the items so in other words each item has its details printed over and over again so this is the kind of stuff that is happening now, out of this what we are interested about is certain tags like title like this and that so let's use an if else statement and get those particular items outside so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say if current child dot get no name dot equals ignore case if that is title then print the contents of that title how will I say that very simple I'll say current child dot get text content over here and that's all I need to print at this point so again now if I go and run this by saying run at the top here so at this point if you guys notice take a look at that Facebook test black comes to Android new messaging app lets you do this Samsung gear live review and so on so all the titles are getting printed so for each item inside from the list of all the other tags what we are taking is only the title and we are trying to print it out and then we are doing this for all the items contained in our for loop now this is the same way you're gonna write if statements to get the data from description from pub date and from images so in the next video I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna build on this further in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.